Oh, right on. I got it. He's doing this all by himself. Oh, -ho! loot galore! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I am the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. We have set sail. We are leaving home, headed east. East is the direction I want to be going. It looks like I'm accomplishing that. I left here once already, and somehow... I don't know if it put me back in time or what it was, but it sent me back to here. We've been in L4. There's a group of islands there. Uh, at least there was last time I played and after I was done recording. Uh, so I'm hoping that's going to be the case. Now, I did get up into the M3, as you can see, and that was a bad mistake, because it gets really cold up there. Really, really cold up there. So right now what I'm doing is I am... Well, I'm sailing. I'm sailing. I need to open this sail. This is a much faster ship than the sloop. Much, much faster. It really does travel quickly. It's, uh... Pretty amazing just how fast I can get around on the schooner as opposed to the sloop. Now, we did have issues with the wheel, as you guys mentioned in the comments. Of course, everyone was absolutely right. You can have nothing in front of the wheel. So I've had to move it up to the second deck, as you can see. And I've got it set right here with no railing in front of it. And the stairs are just to my right. And I actually have a fireplace on my left because it does get cold. So I have no protection from the elements until I go inside. Um... We got uh, we got the damned right up here, real close by. Not too far. Don't skid too far. There we go. We're moving. We're moving really fast in this. So the two speed sails are something else. Uh, the person who mentioned when we were building the sloop, if we had just put one of these medium speed sails on the sloop, it would have been enough. I believe that. It it, it really is much quicker ship. I really in, have enjoyed uh, the little bit of sailing I've done on it, and I mean a little bit. Okay, we avoided that. That was nice. Yeah, we're getting ready to cross the border here. We'll just turn a little bit more into the wind here. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. It would be much better if I had people on the masts, so, um, you know, hopefully we'll be grabbing up some treasure and things like that uh, once we've got a chance to where we can actually slow down and do something like that. Uh, right now, I guess we're getting ready to cross into another border here. I can see it up ahead. It's a ways out, though, so I'm going to keep going, and I'll find uh, some islands, and then we'll go after them. Oh, see, now there's a chest, but I can't do it. It's just I'm, I'm too far, going too fast. Uh, I need to be much, much slower to do this. Uh, am I going to miss this? I don't want to miss this. It's right here. I'm like sailing along it instead of going through it. There we go. Keep you guys right here. We'll go through. We'll freeze up. We'll see what happens with uh, Bitsy and Slop up there. Hopefully they'll be fine. L4. Welcome to L4. You're cold, it says. Not anymore. That was interesting. It just lasted for like a second. Uh, there we go. We got uh, a ship of the damned over there. Am I getting ready to cross back in again? I don't want to do that. I want to get away from the ships of the damned is what I want to do. And let's get another level on our schooner. I've been doing resistance. I figured that was pretty good. Since this is an exploratory ship, our first uh, real kind of exploratory ship, the sloop is pretty tiny. I know I'm passing up a bunch of boxes, but I'm going to be okay with that. Ooh, look at the size of this island right over here. I'm more curious. I really want to find salt. I'm just crazy nuts about having to find salt. Let's see. 
Okay, so we're going to open up these. I think these are the islands I bumped into. I feel like, see, I came into this area before, and then when I logged back in today for today's episode, it shot me back, and it kind of surprised me because I thought I was coming up on the islands I was coming up on before, but instead I was coming up on our islands. So it was kind of weird. But this works so much better. So anyways, I'm going to take us to that island right there. That big one right there. I want to get on a bigger one and see what's in these bigger islands. There's a lot of blue boxes uh, in this area. I wonder if the blue ones are any good. The only way you know is to find out, huh? I just want to get to land. I really do. I'm kind of hoping I can get there and get kind of anchored and at least be anchored at shore. And if I have to spend the night on Outcast here, I could do that. That would be my ultimate goal, is to just be able to get anchored for the night. Uh, I'm new at this, so me maneuvering my way in towards that island is, is kind of one of those things. Oh, there's a treasure. That's a treasure ship right there, huh? There's two of them here. Oh, now do these guys last forever, or do they disappear after a while? I know you don't want to run into them. Quality three. This looks like, I don't know what this is over here. You've got to swim uh, into those and there is treasure chests inside the sunken ships if I'm not mistaken. I'm just not comfortable with that yet. I'm still in fiber clothing. Still learning the game here a little bit before I start getting myself into a bunch of crazy uh, underwater battles and stuff like that. And I don't think I've put anything in swimming, really, for levels at all. We're coming up on it pretty fast. Tell you what, I'm going to break away. I'll come back and we'll be... I'm hoping maybe I can get up beyond those spires right there. I'm going to pull up next to them and just kind of see if I can get inside. Just past these tall columns of rock right here. So I'll be back. Welcome back. We have dropped anchor. There is a cobra right there. I just saw boars chase another cobra down into the water. No one has resurfaced. They are all down here somewhere. I don't know what happened to them. Uh, let's look at what we had to do the ship. First of all, the wheel did. Yeah, I placed the wheel right above the porthole. Actually, I can move over just a little bit, huh? But then we are going to use this just as kind of our cabin. And I've got a fire down here, and I've got our water out here. This, this, this is all laid out the same. The only thing I had to do is get rid of this piece of rail, which was kind of a bummer. But it's gone, so that's okay. No big deal. I think I might now put a rail on this side, too. And it, it is a challenge to have to sail this ship by yourself, for sure. It is. I find myself using uh, just the one sail when I want to go slow in, and I keep it fully open. And it seems to move the boat at almost like the sloop speed. So it's, it's worked out pretty good. So far, so good. I'm alive. I made it to another island. It's not like it's super far from us. Let me, let me pull it up. There's that cobra across there. You can see him slithering around. I bet our guys could take him. Uh, minus key. So we were right up there. What, what, wait, wait, wait. We were right over there where Variety 3 is parked. And we drove, we sailed over to here. Not very far. I'm thinking if we don't find anything really new on this island, like right now it's cobras and boars is what I see. I'm curious if maybe we don't, we shouldn't drop down to like L5 and find one of the desert islands. And then that's going to get me my salt, right? Because if I stand a little bit in the ocean with salt, with sand under my feet at a beach, a real beach, like this is the gravel shoreline again right here in front of us. Uh, I should be able to get salt and things out of that. I did get a uh, case. We have nine gold. I, I loot bl blueprint for fine wood staircase. Ooh, fancy. Some berries, it looks like. And then, what's this one? This song increases gold coin yield of treasure maps. Hmm. Oh, the accordion. Oh, I see. If I play the accordion in this song, does it, it gives me an extra yield for tre Okay. I see what it's saying. Cool. All right. Treasure, right? Who cares? It's treasure, dang it. Uh, let's take it downstairs. Downstairs, you guys. Downstairs into the basement. <laughs> you can tell I don't play many ship games. I've got all the wrong lingo. Let's go there, there, there. I'm going to drop that, and we'll just keep the berries on us. I mean, we could put them on one of the hogs, too, I guess. Uh, we need to eat as well. Let's, let's take a step back just a second. Let's take care of ourselves. I kind of neglected to do that while we were... I'm going to do two of those. Two of those. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those, and one, two, six, seven, eight of those. How's that doing? The yellow seems to tick up a little bit slower. I find this to be kind of fun to see if I can get this balance of this food that I'm eating. I, I think it's kind of interesting. Now the berries, okay, the berries in this are, are, are low. The berries and veggies are low. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should bring everybody up. My stomach's not completely full, so I've got a little bit of room if I need to make get some health. And boom, I'm smooth all the way across the top. Oh, man, I tell you. The, the guy can eat. <laughs> Do I have anything in here that I need to look at? No, nothing in there. All right, was I cooking anything up in this one? No, but I've got wood in there just in case. And it really didn't keep me warm either. Uh, okay, so we've got a cobra. We know that this water is, it, it, and this shoreline is just like the other place too, where it's, it's um, very uh, deep, like quickly. Where is that cobra? There he is, right over there. I wonder if I can hit him from here. Uh, I need number five. Well, I don't think so. He's kind of out of my range. I wonder if I go over this way. Slop, you got a level? Let's give you some more um, melee damage. Bitsy, what about you, darling? I'm sure you've got a level, right? The boat's leveling. You've got to be leveling. Okay, so let's go T and T. Now, you guys said I could get the ladder off this boat. Uh... I'll work on that. Right now... Can't place a rope ladder in a snap point. Oh, do I gotta be on the outside of the boat? Hmm, this could end tragically for me. Let's put this... I'm, I'm worried about jumping in the water here. I've got the ladders on me. Uh, I don't know. This is this is crazy. You guys say I can access the the back ladder from so to L. Yeah. And then it was said it was in the wheel too. Oh, sorry guys, sorry guys. I forgot. I had you on. I had you unfollow. That's my that's my fault. And then the wheel. I don't know how to get that ladder to drop. I have no idea. What am I doing? So, I'll have to look at the comments again. I know it's in the comments. I know it is. I just forgot what I read. What was it work? Can you guys not see me? There we go. Maybe I push the right whistle. Alright, I see the cobra. Oh man, is it getting dark too? I think it's going to get dark. I feel like I shouldn't be jumping onto an island when it's dark out. Oh, there's the cobra right there. It's a big one. Can't tell how big it is though. All right, I'm wondering if I should wait till the sun comes up. We could probably get to shore and get a campfire going. Pig should be able to handle that snake. I just don't like the fact he's going to get us as we're just getting out of the water. Gives him the upper hand for sure. And I can't seem to hit him from here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to hit him. He's backtracking. I bet if I head for that right there, I could probably beat him over there. I'm going to go for it. Keep the ladders on me. Okay, this is not deep at all. Oh, we're good. Okay, we're good. Let's get eyes on that snake. That snake in the grass. Well, if I'd come in any closer, I would have been in trouble. Port Spell Island. It's the Port Spell Island. Of course it is. Get that out of my face, please. <laughs> all right. 
Oh, well, we got animals unconscious over here. Oh, it's a cobra. He's he's just going to town that that hog over there. Level ten. You stuck, Mr. Snake? He's stuck or something. The bamboo is not their friend, I can tell you that much. There we go. Nice. Nice, Bitsy. Way to go. Way to go, you guys. We still got one more of these vicious vipers laying around here, though, people. Keep your eyes peeled. There's danger out there. Bit of meat, a little bit of hide. This is probably silver too, huh? Slate shirt and silver. Yeah, this I, this island is going to be almost probably identical to our other one. I wonder if we're going to find uh, a water source on this one. It's it's difficult to decide. This is one of the fun challenges for me right now. Is it's very difficult to decide where do you? Oh my god. Get ready, guys. There's another one. Get ready. There's there's a there's a third one here. I saw it. Did we not see one? I thought for sure we saw one. All right, let's not waste not wait waste not want not. Give me those arrows back. I know I stuck a couple in you. Cobras everywhere. Disgusting. I could have sworn there was two of them. Maybe he just circled around and came up over the bridge again. I just didn't notice that he was turning around. I guess it was just the one, maybe. It's okay. We can use the hide. We can use the hide. Always use hide, for sure. It's, a, it's an important thing. Yeah, so far, nothing really uh, new. This one's open. Way opened up, though, in here. That's for sure. Go on. Joyous hogs. They're pretty islands, but I gotta tell you, the one we're on right now, it's 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 very very dense, very thick uh, jungle. It's hard to run around and see where you're going in there, which is cool sometimes. Here we got uh, oh we got something over here. We got like a tiger or something. Still no sand though. I think that was a cat. I think it's a cat. It is. It's it's like a tiger or something right there. He's eating everything in sight. Right there. I've never fought a tiger before. I have no idea what it's like. So we got tigers on this island. That would be so cool. I don't know how far they see. We got something over here too. Bunch of stuff that's unconscious. Oh my gosh, you can't see anything back in here. Rattlesnake. There we go. Where are you, dead snake? See what I mean by the jungle being just so dense right in here? So we got tigers on here. That's pretty cool, but I still feel like we could probably do better if we were to drop down and go to back to a desert island. I feel like that might not be a bad idea. I just want to give this this jungle a little once over look. This island, it's it's actually pretty small. These spires are just, you know, they're way out there. So they're it's not like it's um this is not a big island for any... This is no bigger than the one we're on right now. I'm not, I've not seen anything that looks new or out of the ordinary to me. Other than the tiger. Oh, 
Uh, let's go here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this while I'm here. What's going on here? Hi. Right. Can't hit the bamboo? That's weird. I see a cobra. There's an alpha parrot. Oh, that parrot's gonna mess up that snake. It's gonna be busy now. Why can't I chop wood here? What is that noise? I'm gonna grab a little bit of this just so I got some metal. I hear something. That's probably the snake that was over here. Okay, so now I gotta get the ladders on, right? I'm cold. Put this away. I'm pretty sure I should be able to put a ladder over here. God, I hope so. <laughs> there you go, guys. Good job. You just follow you right on, and then I believe what I could do is just take them and ride them out of here a little bit, and then I don't have to worry about them falling off. Okay, I'm pushing E. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Everyone's inside. I don't think we take damage while we're while we're anchored. I'm gonna kind of watch this tonight. I'm gonna wait for the sun to come up. We got ships of the damned out there. They all four just blew up together. That was weird. But uh, it's gonna get dark, so it probably is dark already in the video. So I'll come back when the sun comes up, and we'll decide what we're gonna do next. Welcome back. It's still nighttime, but I've learned the crossbow. I've been looking at the skills tree at night when I'm kind of standing around doing nothing and I'm just it's like trying to familiar my, familiarize myself with things. So we got ranged weapon. I can do a crossbow. I'm curious to see. Ammo type, crossbow, bolt. This is a uh, arrow. So, I guess ammo? What's crossbow bolts? That is a zipline sinker. Fiber, flint, hide, and thatch for these guys, huh? Wow. Okay, so I can craft 13. That's it, huh? Let's do it. So, those are a little expensive. I see. So does it say they give, this probably has got to give more damage, right? Does it say where, it, oh damage, there we go, weapon weapon damage 100%. <laughs> okay. The durability is much better. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to keep them both on me, but I'm going to try this one out for sure. Yeah, that's going to be a good one right there. That's fun. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave this island. I think what I'm going to do, and uh, you guys will agree, uh, map. I feel like if we head directly south down to L5, find ourselves a nice desert. It makes me very nervous to be inside the hull of this ship and there is stuff sloshing around outside. Freaks me out. If we go down to L5, we should be able to maybe find a like a desert island, right? Where we first kind of started and, and get that going. So we've kind of made a, a little bit of a circle here. If we take a look at the map, I'll pull it back in closer again. We're kind of getting close. I, I, I'm thinking eventually we're going to have to go back to our Freeport Island, right? Because we're going to want to get some crew unless we get a ship of the damned and then we can take their crew members, correct? If I've got gold, I can get them onto the ship. Um, I think that's how that works. Or I could go back to the Freeport Island, buy some people, and bring them back on here. But we need the gold in order to do that. I was just kind of hoping I could find... What I was talking about earlier is it's difficult to find a spot to live and say, this is where our, our 
our main base is going to be because I'm just missing certain things. So I guess maybe some of the stuff I just have to say, well, I'm going to have to give up on that idea of maybe having fresh water right next door. Although that seems like it's a really huge inconvenience if I don't have it. But anyways, the goal here today, uh, I think, is when I'm going to head south and get into L5 when the sun comes up. And we'll see if we can continue on or if I've got to call an episode. But I'm hoping we can do that. Uh, I'm not going to head out until after the sun comes up, which is going to be uh, any second now. It should be coming up pretty darn quick, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it should be coming up pretty fast. I go outside and I get cold. It's just, you know, it's the nature of the beast. So I just stay right in here and just looking at the skills. All right, guys, I'll be back. So I took off. <laughs> and, of course, the storm began just as I left. So now I am freezing. And looks, no, not, I'm not freezing anymore. I was just freezing to the point where he was like, oh, you know, oh, my gosh. So, yeah, anyways, it's... It's a rough day at sea leaving here. I should stop and get these crates. I know. We will start doing some of that stuff, I promise. I've got one. Ships of the Damned are right over there. We're getting ready to cross over the border. Uh, it's been it's been a just I mean it's just a short journey, but it's been interesting. The water has been really high and the storm and it's cold and it's just like wow, you know. So anyways, uh, I'll be back. Well we're gonna cross over. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll have you guys stay with me. We'll see what's on the other side of this here. Uh, this barrier. Boop. L5, okay. We're in the tropical area now, right? This is the uh, sandy islands and stuff like that. Uh, there's one right over there. I turn a little more this away. It's still freezing cold. I think I'm gonna go for one that's a little further in. L5 is, as opposed to grabbing that very first one right there. I, I, I would like to find something a little bit further into here to see if we're going to do better. Uh, schooner, let's give it uh, some more resistance. Resistance is good. Resistance to damage is very good. I love having this ship. It's really fun. I wish there was a way I could uh, keep myself from getting cold and then not have to sail. Uh, is it crazy to just close the sails and sit here and go inside and hang out for the, the the duration of the storm? Is that something that's doable? I mean, it's possible, I guess, that the what you might call it, guys, the the ships of the dam could show up and, and attack. Uh, there's the whale. I guess there's a whale in this game, right? <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that at all. Um, wow! Look at these waves. They're huge. Wow! I am just a little speck out here in this mighty sea. This is craziness. It's like, look at how big these waves are. They're massive. <laughs> Quite a storm. All right, guys, I'll come back. Much better sailing weather now. Much, much better. The storm ended. Got the sails straightened out. The wind did do a little bit of shifting. This looks like it's got a statue on it. And that one looks like it has a statue on it. They've got a weird rock formation that almost looks the same. That one there looks the same as that one over there. That's kind of interesting. God, I feel like I should be going after these crates. 
there is a way to improve my view of those things from a farther distance away. I, I, I believe I realize that. I think I've seen that in the tree line as well. Um, so yeah, I could probably start working on getting some of these crates. At least I would be able to buy uh, the crew. And then we would have to go and get treasure maps and start uh, getting some treasure maps. I still feel like I'm just barely scraping the surface of what the game has to offer. There's so much to do. I mean, all these different islands. Did I mention that the reason I was saying it's it's a difficult um, decision to s where to settle down? I guess I was talking about that, wasn't I? Some things you just have to give up and others you don't. I feel like, and I felt like fresh water is not the thing to give up on. Uh, having fresh water is a really good thing. Unless, I guess you've got a hundred barrels that you sit out in the rain and you've got tons of water just sitting in barrels, right? I guess you could do that. There's also the uh, reservoirs, too, you could make. There is a statue on that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Are we going to, like, some kind of evil place? <laughs> no. What is this? Yeah, there is a statue on that one over there, too. We're coming in pretty hot. There's even, like, a temple there. That is pretty amazing looking. Uh, we should probably slow down. I just fully closed them when I'm racing in like this. See what happens. Okay, here we go. Let's check our map and see just kind of what kind of shoreline are we talking about here. Uh, no, plus in. There we go. Uh, looks like we're coming up on that area that juts out that's got the mountain on it, and then it's pretty deep around it. If we went around the other side of it, we've got some area there that we could actually anchor. That's an interesting looking island. I would love to go and see what this is. Uh, maybe we can get around the island a little bit. Rotates. Uh, let's uh, we'll do 30% on this sail. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere too fast, but we'll see. No, it's not going to work for me. It's too slow. There we go, now we're easing on in. Something else we didn't find on our island that we're on right now is I see right over there there's treasure maps in the water, the, the bottles. But again, I, we established that those things expire if you don't use them right away, so I don't think it's such a good idea to use them right away. Uh, to pick them up. It's just not worth it. I see something in the water, light colored, right over here, coming straight out from the bridge into the water. It's got to be shallower water, I would imagine, right? That would be my guess. Look at all the bamboo on here, though. If anything else, it'd be good to grab up a bunch of bamboo. I'm thinking I'm seeing ha or boars walking on the shoreline way over there right now. But look at that statue. That is really cool. Like ancient ruins and stuff, you know? For all I know, there's people that live here. There looks like there's a whole... Is this a Freeport Island? It looks like there's buildings right over there. Uh, okay, we need to turn. We need to close this sail all the way. And can we anchor? No, we cannot anchor yet. Alright, so let's go forward just a little bit more. And we're going to slow this... Nope, we're going to slow this way down. I think I can drop the anchor while I'm floating. I just have to find the spot where it's shallow enough for it. Apparently it's quite deep right in here. That is really cool. Oh, this is a free port. Oh, really? Oh, no! I'm striking out! This is a total free port. I don't even have enough gold to to buy it, you know, to get some 
soldiers or, or seamen for the boat. Oh man, it's a Freeport. That's what it's telling me right down there. I've reached max level 8. I hadn't even noticed that before. Oh. So, L5 is Freeport. Dang it. If I'm wrong about that, I am going to kick myself. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it is. It's awfully well developed. So yeah, this is no good for us. It's 4 o'clock my time exactly right now where I'm at and recording. <clears throat> I have no wind. There we go. Get back out of here and... Oh, man. So, that is a bust. I did not know. So, L5 is... Freeport stuff. So we don't want to do that. Um, I guess we could head east now. Or we could continue going south. We're quite a ways, oops, quite a ways south right now. We gotta turn this way. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Let me get this, let me get this, I get the ship point of the direction I want, and then I get busy on this. Wait a minute, no, if I'm looking at the map, that's not, that's north. No, it says it's south. There we go. Yeah, sorry about that. There's another one right there. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so there, this is all Freeport stuff. I also added one bed to the scooter so we can put an extra bed down. Um, that's gonna have to wrap up today's episode, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just fresh out of time. Just completely out of time. Um, so I'll edit up what I've got so far. Hopefully the episode turned out okay and you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a, sea a seaport day. <laughs> and I look forward to talking to you again next time.